Sometimes kids need to go back to the basics and work on their speed for math drills, right? That is what we have been doing lately with both my seventh grader and my third grader. And honestly, my high schoolers joined in a few times because this game that we have been playing is a family favorite right now. And I wanna tell you about it. So you might be wondering, why is she in her car right now? That is because I needed to get this video made and it life has been pretty crazy. And this is the time I had sitting outside of my daughter's dance class. But I really wanted to tell you about this math drill. I decided that even for my seventh grader, for my third grader and my seventh grader, that they needed to get faster on their math facts. So last year I did a video where I explained some of the math fact drills that we have done in the past. So for more ideas, check out that video. I will link any videos that I mentioned below. This year I decided to do something different because I gave my seventh grader some timed addition tests. Timed addition tests. Here's the thing, she can obviously add, she can multiply, but it's not like if she sees seven plus three, she's automatically like 10 or she sees five plus three, she's automatically eight. She's still not quite boom, 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 boom. So I decided that I needed to go backwards and just decided to bring my third grader along here. We just kind of are starting back at the beginning and we just wanna make sure that all of these things are solid. The math facts, that is the foundation for any future math. Why is math going to take 45 minutes to do? Well, part of it could be because the math facts aren't like, automatic. If your kid knows your, their addition and their subtraction and their multiplication and their division like super fast, then their math lessons are going to go that much quicker because you're not spending time spinning the wheels up here trying to figure out basic facts. So last year when I explained the math facts drills, I showed you guys this little box called the polka dot, the polka dot math box. I pulled that out because this box has so many different types of cards that you can use. The regular numbers, base 10 cards. There are the cards that are clearly two different colors showing you five and three. Like this is what I'm trying to teach my kids. When they see a nine, they should be able to see on this red card five and four. So I pulled out four different sets of these cards. Two of the sets are a little bit too obscure to do for this game. I play the game differently every time. I might say, I'm going to set a timer and we're going to only make sets of eight. So of course I took out the nine and the 10 from each set. The set goes from zero to 10. So if I'm doing eights, I'm taking out the nine and the 10 and timing them to see how quickly they can make groups of eight. And I challenge them that they cannot use the same color card to make a set. So they have to use two different sets of cards. The game that we play the most though is just making groups of 10. Because again, on this red card, because the colors in the base 10 cards, honestly, because they are kind of split up by fives, it's teaching them five and four is nine, but then nine plus, then they need a one to make 10. Like the base 10, base 10 facts are the ones that are just so foundational for adding two digit numbers, for adding three digit numbers, and being able to do the mental math quickly. So here's what we've been doing. I put the four stacks of the separate cards in the middle of the table, and then we set a timer. Not just any timer, you guys pick a really fun song. Every single time, this is the song that we play. It's from the newest Top Gun movie. It's the One Republic song. I ain't worried about it right now. It's a peppy song. It's kind of a motivational song. It's only two and a half minutes. It's funny that even the, the beginning of the song says time is running out, no need to take it slow. So it's, it's funny, but it's a peppy song that kind of gets them going and gets them in the group and two and a half minutes. So I first challenged them to get through all the cards in the two and a half minutes. A couple times they've been able to do that. Most times, especially my third grader, is not able to get through all of the cards. I mean, there's 40 cards here to get through and they're 
there's kind of some abstract things going on. So I have you guys check each other's answers. Do we ever get them wrong? Free top G. <laughs> yes. Even you sometimes will oh. put together yeah. an eight and a one. Nope, we gotta throw it back because looking at it quickly, sometimes we just miscalculate. This one, whichever one is, um, say three and four, that's a common one that for some reason we can't always get. The nine, this is 10, five and five, and the one that's five and four often gets misinterpreted as five and four, wherever it is, yeah. So this one often gets misinterpreted as a 10, but we should know five plus four equals nine is nine. <gasps> and then mom did it a few times and timed myself and challenged them if they can beat me and beat my time that I would give them stars. Did you guys watch my video on the rewards chart that we've been using? That chart has been a game changer for us because I can take away stars whenever they're not meeting expectations and I can offer stars for the smallest little things like beating mom at the base 10 game or beating the song. I offered them five stars one day if they could just beat the song. I think my seventh grader, definitely my high schooler, got the stars. I've also been writing down their best times so that they know if they've beat them. So like today, looks, mom got it in 143. This one got it in, what was it, 145? Mm -hmm. So you didn't quite beat me today. Hey, hey. Guys, look at my time. But I need to write our best times. I've got too many times around here. All right, got them written. And I think I told Drew one time if he could beat mom, which you can see, mom's pretty fast. You got 50 bonus stars, didn't you? 10. Oh, you got 10. Well, still, it's better than nothing, right? I have several math fact time tests that have nothing to do with this game. There are other basic time tests that I'm trying to get them to be able to get through, like, for example, 50 adding and subtracting problems in one minute. I mean, it's time like that, and like we're going to keep drilling this until they can do it in a minute because I want it to be automatic for them. And so again, back to the stars, I told them when they beat the time test, I'm going to give them 25 stars, which if you watched my rewards chart video, 25 stars is really only the equivalent of a dollar. <laughs> but 25 stars in and of itself sounds like a whole lot of stars, but it's a dollar. It's so worth it for me to offer them 25 stars. Just offering little stars to help get them to try their hardest to make these sets of 10. I'm telling you, that reward system is working for us. If you haven't already, check out the math facts video here. Check out the reward chart video here. And I will also link the polka dot game below from Amazon. This game has been a winner and we play it almost daily. Till next time, bye.